All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I wasn't looking at the camera. To this Brooklyn Bulls um, franchise, expansion franchise. We are in season two now. As you know, we went eight and eight last season and sadly missed the playoffs. But this season, we have big aspirations. We are now in 84 overall. I think we started around a 77 um, at the beginning of the series, but we are now in 84 overall. We had some big additions in free agency and some young players now taking the front step in progression. Progression? Yeah, that's what I meant to say. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Leave a like if you guys are new. The Super Bowl is on today. I am uploading this on a Sunday, normal time, 2 o'clock. So, I'm getting a Madden video up on a Sunday. That's different. Um, Justin Fields, he has superstar development. He's a 78 overall. He will beat our starting quarterback going into this season. Marlon Mack and Kylan Hill, who has an upgrade point, who was very good for us last season in his rookie year. He will be making, um, you know, hopefully a big impact this season in his sophomore year. Jameson Crowder had a great year. Waddell, or Waddle, I'm going to call him Waddle. He has an X Factor. He could be taking Antonio Brown's starting spot next um, this season. We don't know. Uh, right now, I have him as our slot receiver, I believe. The old line is looking pretty nice besides this right side. We did sign David Njoku in free agency, along with Fred Warner. Where is he? Is he hurt? He's not hurt. Where, where's Fred Warner? Oh, he's right here. Okay. Um, he is hurt. Um, he has a broken wrist. He's out three weeks. That's sick. So we don't even get to use our best player. Um, anyways, Jayon Brown, who is our supposed to be our second middle linebacker, he'll get be getting the start. Um, but yeah, this seems looking really good. I expect us to make the playoffs and win the division. We are going up against the Patriots in this first episode, the team that won the division last year. Um, they have the same exact team, I believe, still can win at quarterback. So let's see if we can hopefully get this win. All right, here we go. First play of the game. The Patriots got three and out, and Marlon Mack was off to the races, but he ends up getting tackled there for, I think, a five-yard gain. All right, I got second five here, Marlon Mack. We're going to run again with him and see. I'm just If you see me looking to the right, I'm just looking at OBS to see the sound. And Marlon Mack's off! Gets a big chunk of yards. It's an 11-yard rush for Marlon Mack, starting off the new season great. First and 10 to the Marlon Mack run, and look at this. Look at that. Well, I'm running a slant, but... Patriots defense. Oh, it looked like it was an all-out bridge. Brit? Waddell! The slot receiver. He's gone. Beating Jones, and he's in the end zone. First Brooklyn Bulls touchdown of the 2021-2022 season is by Jalen Waddell. The X-Factor, the possible stud of this receiving core, gets the first touchdown for us and puts us to a quick... 7-0 lead, and you know last season this offense struggled getting, you know, points up on the board. <clears throat> I forgot to mention, I'm wearing a Mr. Rookie of the Year, Justin Herbert. Yeah, you know, you know, it is what it is. We're going to run the ball with Kylan Hill here. Ooh, is who is that? Ninkovich? No. I've got his, is it? Oh, Winovich. It's Winovich. I don't think Ninkovich is even playing anymore. Winovich with the big tackle. Um, We're probably going to, yeah, this is, a good, this is a good play right here. Um, I'm not even sure if this is play action. It is. Play action. Oh, that was a bad pass, actually. And Marlon Mack still caught it. Third and 12 here. We're going to run post route. And Joku is on a pretty solid route. Um, We'll see what he can do here. Him or Jamison Crowder. And Oh, when we get hit, it's going to be a fourth down. All right, the Patriots end up scoring on their possession. They already have 131 yards. We're going to run a play action here, I believe it is. Play action cross, I think. Whatever. It is what it is. Um, this is not the greatest play. Winovich gets a sack. Second, oh, okay, never mind. It's the end of the quarter, actually. Okay, now it's second and 14. We're going to be running a halfback screen with Hill. I don't like how the safety's pressed up. Okay, yep, okay. I was right to not like that. He gets a big block. There's no way Winovich is faster than Hill. All right, we get, we get to the third and one, I believe it is, correct? Third and one, we're going to run it. They're not stacking the line, so we might be able to get this first down here with Marlon Mack. Let's go, Mack. Marlon Mack, he gets the first down in a bit more. All right, maybe wondering why it's third and 20. Um, Yeah, I threw an intentional ground because they put a full-out safety blitz on us, so, I mean, there was nothing I could have done. But I can give it to St. Brown, who's going to get a big catch. Four for five, 100 yards and a touchdown so far for Jalen that's not Jalen Hurts. That it, how did I forget it? Justin Fields. The safety is pushing up, so I'm going to switch this to a pass play. Actually, I forgot to fix Njoku's number. He should not be wearing number 46 as a tight end. But we're going to get the first down. 
All right, we got third and five here. Um, Waddle's going to be my main target here on that little... Oh, he's wide open! He's not going to get the touchdown here, but he gets us down to the five-yard line. What a bit. Waddle's been the star player this game. And he might be taking Jameson Crowder's spot as the best player on this team, at least offense-wise. First and goal on the five-yard line. Um, ooh, that, he, I'm not sure about a run play. Ooh, Marlon Mack! Ah, uh, he gets to the two. I'm gonna run another. Ooh, they are stacked. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch this to a pass, and see if I can get a quick Antonio Brown. And he's out of reach. We're gonna. Oh boy, I'm not. I I don't, I don't know. I don't. I'm gonna go for another pass. Maybe it'll work. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. We're on the two yard line. It's fourth and goal. I'm going for it. And they want me to go for it too. I'm not sure how a toss play will work here, to be honest. Um, I don't think it'll go well. But, you know, you, you got you got to go balls to the wall sometimes. And it worked perfectly fine in the end zone. Marlon Mack with the touch. He's doing a Fortnite dance. Cut it. All right. A minute 50 left in the second quarter, and the Patriots did not end up scoring. They had the ball for a good amount of time. And I'm going to give it up to Njoku. Ooh, he, he made the catch, though. We got first and 10 with a minute left. I'm trying to at least get into field goal range. Oh, Antonio Brown kind of burnt. He caught that. A.B. with a big catch. Looking like prime A.B. out there. We got about 40 seconds left. We are in field goal range, which is good. Um, I kind of want to score here. And Crowder with the magnificent post route is going to give us a possible 21-7 lead. All right, at the start of the third, we have a 21-7 lead. This offense is doing exactly what I expected them to do this season. They've developed great, and look at that wide open. It nearly got picked by Stephon Gilmore. <laughs> but no, seriously, this offense has developed exactly the way I thought it would. It has developed really good. Um, last season was obviously a bit iffy, um, but you know it's been it's been really good this game at least. I'm gonna have to throw that away. Of as I start complimenting this offense, it starts you know falling apart a bit. But, you know, we're going to go halfback screen. It might be a dumb idea. It it, it wasn't a dumb idea if they blocked. All right, we got first and 10 here. We've been mainly running the ball, so I'm going to see what we can do. I'm going to give it to Njoku, who runs the post route perfect, and he's got speed. One of the fastest tight ends in the league, and he gets us to the 23-yard line. And Justin Fields passes 200 yards this game. Oh, my God. Marlon Mack in the end zone. I didn't even expect us to get that many yards on that play. But Marlon Mack rushes for his 30th career touchdown and his second of the game to give us a 21-point lead. The Patriots end up scoring a field goal, but our offense is too good right now for the Patriots. Like, their defense cannot keep up. And what? Oh, he almost had the speed there. But who is that? 31? I don't know what 31 is. He almost had the speed to get past, but he didn't. Uh, we're going to run, I guess this is a play action. And Joku is the main target I'm looking for. Let's see, but he's got Gilmore on him, so. Um, he's leaving them open. That's another big play. This Patriots defense has been extremely bad this game. All right, we're going to be running this play. More play action, more post routes for Njoku. And he's going to get, I believe, his first touchdown in a Brooklyn Bulls uniform. This offense is going to be unstoppable this season. I don't know if it's just because the Patriots defense is very lackluster this game. But this offense has so many weapons. And with Justin Fields being accurate like that, it's going to be tough to stop this team. The Patriots do end up scoring again. And they do have more yards than us, technically. They have five more yards than us. But this this game is more than over. And Marlon Mack, another big, well, what could have been a bigger run. He's got 14 rushes, 93 yards, and two touchdowns on the game. Trying to show this Bulls team that he's a starting running back over Kylan Hill. Because last season, I was contemplating trading him. But right now, he's showing me that he should be started, and Kylan Hill's not having a great game. Oh, Kylan Hill just got hurt. That's a big hit to our offense, even though he was having a subpar game. Ooh, you don't like to see that. Okay, yeah, that's honestly, that was a bad pass. He, you know, possession catches in this game are broken. Um, Calf strain. Oh, okay, well, he's fine. That's a good thing. We've already had Fred Warner out till week four. So it's good that we don't lose our backup running back. All right, Marlon Mack. I mean, I'm already talking. I might as well keep talking. Marlon Mack might score again. We, we might be seeing a three-touchdown game for Marlon Mack. He has a chip 
on his shoulder. He's like, shut up, let me work. Let's see if he can score here. Marlon Mack, third touchdown of the game. 42 points. This Bulls offense puts up on the Patriots. And Marlon Mack gets his third touchdown of the game. Wow. Oh my God, Marlon Mack's about to score again. He's about to score his fourth touchdown. Wow. This He's going off. He's got near 200 rushing yards, I believe. And now that's his fourth rushing touchdown. He's not going to keep this up this season. But if he does, he's the Offensive Player of the Year possible MVP. That is insane. Marlon Mack said, nah, nah, nah. I ain't getting traded this season. He He's the starter. That's what Marlon Mack is saying. And Kylan Hill, he could have had a big run. But he gets tripped up by J.C. Jackson. This game is over, if you couldn't tell. Oh, now Kylan Hill's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Oh, Stephon Gilmore and JC. Oh, wow. Big rush by Kylan Hill. He could have been gone, but he just didn't have the speed. And this is going to end up bringing us to the end of the game. There's about 35 seconds left. I'm just going to let Chew Clock do its thing. We're going to run with Marlon Mack, pad his stats a bit. He gets stopped. He gets stuffed. He has 176 yards, four touchdowns. Four of them things. But with 12 seconds left, we are going to walk out of our home stadium season opener with a 49-17 to victory over the New England Patriots, the division to rival. The team that beat us, that ended up taking our playoff spot, we end up spanking them in this game and getting a big win to start the season. 1-0, oh, I believe we started off 0-2 last season. Something like that. So a great start. I'm telling you, like I said last episode, like I said at the beginning of this episode, this team is going to make the playoffs. We are going to win this division no matter what. This offense showed this game, even though it wasn't the greatest Patriots defensive performance. They showed that this offense is really good. For the passing stats, Cam Newton had a decent game. He just didn't get any touchdowns. Justin Fields, 12 for 18, 287 yards, three touchdowns, no picks, which is a big thing. He was very accurate this game. So that's really good. Rushing-wise, we already know the moral story. Marlon effing Mack, the trade rumors, he wasn't hearing it. He has an amazing game, 22 rushes, rushers, rushes, 183 yards and four touchdowns on the game. And then Kylan Hill, he was having a, you know, a mid-mediocre game. Then he had that insane run. They gave him 76 yards. Let's see, uh, 42-yard run. Marlon Mack had a 40-yard run. That is that is something. Now, receiving wise, this was David Njoku and Jalen Waddell's game. Njoku had four catches, 106 yards, and a touchdown. Um, Waddell had only three catches, 102 yards, and a touchdown. And who? That's it. Oh no, Jameson Crowder had the other touchdown. Okay, that makes more sense. Anyways, that's it for me. Leave a like, guys, enjoy. Subscribe, guys, are new. GG.